BCR primers. BCR primers are specific short strings of single stranded DNA known as oligodeoxyribonucleotides. These primers flank opposite strands on either end of the target DNA. The design of these primers is very important and it is the composition, sequence match with the template and the concentration of primers that play an important role in the outcome of a BCR assay. The strands of the duplex can be separated by heat and the temperature at which half the molecules are single stranded and half are double stranded is called the melting temperature. The melting temperature will determine the annealing temperature in the cyclar temperature profile and should be suitable for both primers. Features of primers Typical primers are anything between 18 and 28 nucleotides in length. The GC composition should be similar to that of the desired amplicon and should in general between 50 to 60 percent. The calculated melting temperature for a primer pair should be balanced. Rule of thumb Melting temperature equal to 2 multiplied in the number of adenine and, and the thiamine plus 4 multiplied in the number of duanine and the cytosine in the primers. Primer annealing Optimal annealing temperatures are often higher, 5 to 10 degrees centigrade, than the melting temperature of the primers. This optimal annealing temperature is also externally dependent on the salt concentration as well as the magnesium ion concentration in the reaction and has to be determined empirically. Primer extension The time required for extension of the primers and the senses of the entire length of the target umbilical is dependent upon the length and the concentration of the target sequence and the opposite temperature and the properties of the specific enzyme used. Extension temperature of 72 degrees centigrade is the optimal working temperature for most of the heat-stable polymerase enzymes. Rates of incorporation varies between 35 to 100 nucleotides per second and therefore as a general indicator, one minute at 72 degrees centigrade is sufficient for two kilobytes product. Longer cycles may be useful, especially early on if substrate concentration is very low, and later on when product concentration exceeds enzyme concentration. A long last cycle. 10 minutes at 72 degrees centigrade is useful to ensure that all amplified cables are full length. It is important to note that the polymerase reaction in living cells has a proof reading mechanism to correct the errors that occurs during the base pairing. This is not present in BCR, which is conducted in tested tubes.